Hello friends, welcome back to the organization. Today we want to finish off researching Starflight basics and hopefully get closer to space and also continue the deep drilling, which we need to go the American way and get a lot of plasteel, gold, and whatever else we can find out of the ground because it doesn't seem that we're going to find it in caves and then we can get to outer space. But first, following up with naming all of the animals after Nickelodeon and Disney characters, I'm going to go an extra mile. Thanks to Zvarai, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but I'm going to rename Muffalo 1 the Hash Slinging Slasher. Since I don't have enough space on one animal, I'm just gonna have to do it on two animals. I'm naming Muffalo Calf 2 Judas. Muffalo Calf 3 will be Satan. And Muffalo Calf 4 will be Nosferatu, if I can spell it right now. Is that all of the animals we have? Maximum Overdrive, Dinkelberg 2, I named another one Dinkelberg, because I wanted to say Dinkelberg more. Uh, Simba, which is, we, we should, nah, that's fine, we'll just keep it. Oh wait, no, somebody said, oh, crap, we gotta do, nah, just, why not, uh, Boris, Boris. Boris. Bo okay, Boros. It looks Greek for some reason. So, Dinkelberg, Flying Dutchman, Gru, Flanders, Mr. Krabs, Wild Boar 2. Oh, we'll need to change. Why were you Wild Boar 2? We'll name you Born to be Wild. Fuck. Born to be Wild, in one word. Born to be Wild. Who else? Evil Paul, Sinister Cat, Mephalo 1, Krampus, Elon Muff, Grand Muff Tarkin, Mufalo 2, Muffalo, 1 Muffalo, because he was the only male, uh, Darth Vader, Scar, Larry, w which we meant to name Gary, but Larry turns out to be another character from Spongebob 2, as I conveniently forgot. Slasher for hash slinging, Judas, Satan, Nosferatu, and hash slinging. Okay, so that is all of the animal names, but we seem to be getting animals at a breathtaking rate, so we'll just continue that for today. We're gonna finish off Starflight Basics, and go back to deep drilling. Oh, and we'll also try to convert this prisoner DJ, because he has bloodlust, so he should not be... Oh, he's also got the five organs, but he's, uh, he has enough things to keep him happy that I think it will mitigate the effects of not being a psychopath, though we will try to recruit him. I'm setting out a few new stockpile zones so that we can put our meat and clothing other places, because it's becoming quite a mess. We have finished research for Starflight Base 6. Construct the structural and supportive elements of a starship. This is the first step in building a ship to leave the star system. We're gonna go back to the research screen because I've heard that the things that we need to make require an ungodly amount of uh, foreign minerals. So we're gonna go to deep drilling, which is gonna be another 4,000 and then ground penetrating scanners so that we can see what's around here from the ground. That's gonna cost us 5,000 research, which should take a little while and then we'll be able to get those last resources and research for spaceships. And in response to popular demand, we are going to take away the Napoleon Dynamite reference. To rename him, let's do it with a variation, we will rename Frank Francis. And I will remind you that Francis was the villain from Deadpool, so it totally works. Now since our fridge is becoming far too large, we're going to start mining out the walls nearby and... Can we... oh no, there is mountain overhead everywhere, but we can keep on going back into this hollow. And we should be able to keep the fridge going because we have so much meat, far too much meat. And it looks like we've got a blight on the plants, so I'm going to order Neville to just slowly dissect out all the ones that are blighted. But he's very good with plants, so he should get this done in a jiff. And wow, he did a great job. And we got a volcanic winter. A distant supervolcano has erupted and begun spewing millions of cubic kilometers of ash into the atmosphere. Fun! Ash in the atmosphere will obscure the sky, temperatures will drop, and plants will suffer for lack of sunlight. It could pass in a few weeks, or it may last many quadrums, so colder. Uh, we don't rely on solar power, not that I... I well, I probably won't affect us that way. Not great for plants, but we've already got this massive surplus of food, of just meat all over our kitchen, plus human meat for training the animals, so I think we'll be fine. And we got a new recruit, we got DJ to join us, great DJ, where the hell is DJ? Okay, DJ is a fast learner with bloodlust. We are not going to use his fast learner though, we're just pretty much going to have him clean up after us because we've gotten all of our roles filled more or less at this point. I just need somebody to haul and clean and so that evil Jim can do his other work. We may set him to crafting, like if he gets time he can do- oh and he selected the bowler hat. He's a fop, okay. Uh, a fop and a flak jacket. 
We're also going to have Butch wear the marine armor because he still gets the three pieces of human leather clo- Uh, actually, he's gonna need a fourth one. Can we get him a jacket? Like a human leather jacket over this? That would be great. Okay, DJ's job is to create- <laughs> We should name him the villain from Full House because DJ is a name from Full House. Uncle Jesse was villainously handsome, so we're going to name him John Stamos. Okay, John Stamos is also <laughs> in our colony. Great job, John Stamos. He is probably going to be doing all the crafting and cleaning up after us. Where is he? He is... Good, we'll have him do this. You know, he can be a doctor at sometimes if he feels like it. We'll set that to fourth priority. Handling, we don't care about. Hunting, we don't care about. We need him tailoring. We need him smithing. We need him crafting. And hauling and cleaning. That will be John Stamos' jobs. And John Stamos is just completing his work on a lovely human leather jacket. So we will now see if we can... I don't know if it's considered an outer shell, but we might be able to get Butch to wear this to get back to his four human leather clothing uh, buff that he was getting from the... Gr oh no, he can't get it. Okay, so you know what? We'll just give him marine armor anyway, because he's our best shot. And he's been so happy recently anyway that I really don't think this will affect him at all. In efforts to clear the hallways again, we're going to make more stockpile zones over here. And since I have very little left for Butch and some of the others to work on, I'm going to just cut down all these trees and put a lot of wooden spike traps outside of my base. It never hurts to have another set of defenses, and we have nothing for them to do, really. And we'll just add a couple more lamps into these rooms to speed their walking. One more here. And then for security, we're just gonna start spreading around spike traps all over outside of here, all the way up till the turret so that they can do that. Oh, and there's a fuck, 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 no, a large piece of ancient spaceship has crashed nearby, destroyed it as soon as possible, but it, where it'll probably defend itself. Okay, a poison ship is going to contain the most dreaded enemy in the game. Um, this is gonna have mechanoids in it, I'm 95% sure. Uh, so... We're gonna need to take them out with EMP grenades and uranium maces, so I may switch our production right here, but I'm also going to just put a shitload of armor penetrating stuff outside here. Uh, not too close to the ship, though, because then it will aggro itself. This is one of the most dreaded bullshit things. We're putting stone spike traps all over outside of here because this is the best... I think it's the best way to deal with these kinds of crazy ships. We just need a lot of armor-piercing stuff. We're gonna get uranium maces. We have EMP grenades already, so we'll use those against them, but this is going- this may be our finest hour if I don't fix this. And there's snow beginning to spread around the poison ship, that's fucked. Okay, it's killing plant life around it, so not such a big deal, but it's not- I'm not gonna say it's a great thing, though. It's spreading, it's spreading! No, Sinister Cat, why are you? What, what happened to you? Oh, it got bit by a tortoise. I thought that was the ship. All right, John Stamos is working on the sandstone chunks, and Butch is working on finishing off the sandstone traps, so we'll have enough armor- Oh, a psychic soothe. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. We'll use this for traps, and then we'll get uranium maces going. Since I have little to no faith in our hand-to-hand -hand combat, I'm also going to get, uh, like, uh, uh, infra- not infrared. Electromagnetic- IEDs to hopefully slow them down or take down their armor or whatever it does because I think that's the next best counter against these things And let's just get more mini turrets ready because we're, <laughs> we're gonna need them Just saying the poison ship does not really seem to be killing so many plants I mean it's killing the plants around it, but that's just not so bad even if I were to lose all of the plants I'd still just hunt animals the poison is spreading and it's starting to kill more plants <laughs> Look at it go. It's, uh, actually, that's very satisfying to watch. And I would not... It would not really hurt us that much at this point. It just would take too long for it to spread out and kill everything. Sure, it'll kill our animals, but I'd rather have more time to deal with these mechanoids. We're going to have John Stamos make more EMP shells so that we can use them for IEDs. EMP IEDs to use against whatever mechanoids come out, and then we'll just start spamming any other kind of defense we can. Got a few new technologies, IEDs, ground penetrating scanner, and hash slinging slasher. Now we need, uh, I'm just trying to see what else we can do to prepare for these things before they come out, because they are the worst that you could pick up your base, but we're too established here. I don't want to do it. We'll get 
Pow no, I don't want to do power armor. Let's just start rushing space a bit. Yeah, well, we'll need this regardless, so we'll do it. We're also going to just tame all of the local wildlife to aid us against the mechanoids. Mr. Krabs is pregnant! And we're being raided. Maybe South Unburium will- Oh no, All they're going to kill all of the animals. Let's get all of the animals back inside. Come back to the safe space, everybody. Everybody back to the safe space. And... Maybe they'll anger the s I don't want them to anger the psychic ship right now, but... If I could get 20 other people to do my dirty work for me, that wouldn't be so bad, I suppose. Uh, no, you do that, and then everybody else get... hired. Oh no, they're preparing for their attack. Maybe they'll wander in this room and see all of the corpses. I forgot to burn those. Let's see... Ah, Butch! Yeah, you could finish that off, because I don't want to be totally screwed if these things decide to attack us. Then let's have Francis finish off these turrets, and hopefully we can engage them there. Yeah, they'll probably attack us at this lower spot, and they're probably gonna aggro that ship. I, as much as I hate to say it, I think it's gonna happen right now. We're just setting up the last defenses. Oh, Elon Muff died! I didn't want to go to her because she's... Well, she was right next to all of the enemies, but... Oh! And the Outlanders from Unbarium are beginning their assault. Okay, I'm gonna want everybody present for this, so let's just get every... Let's get everybody out here. Might need to use the animals as meat shields today. Hopefully our turrets will do all of the work. I'm not really concerned with the attack, I'm just more kind of concerned with what are they going to do. Uh, you stay there, Evil Jim. Okay, please don't anger the mechanoids, that's the main thing. We have two people with EMP grenades standing by. And wow, half of you attacked the top? Not cool. Not cool. We're gonna kill this guy and then... Oh, they got the turret, but they're still coming south, so they're gonna engage us where I want to fight them anyway. Good, good. 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 Uh, Squidward, get in there, bud. Neville, you guys switch places. Great job, Squidward. Okay. And great, they're fleeing, so we have more time to prepare for, bleh, prepare for the real threat. And they're just fighting the animal. You know what? They can just death by muffalo at this point. They can get themselves killed in our common room. I don't care. Actually, no, this is becoming too much, even for me. Get some me get some goddamn melees. Fortunately, the animals are very good at defending here. The poison continues to spread. Now, before we wake up the mechanoid ship, we're going to make a bunch of uranium maces to help defend ourselves at the doorway for when they do come. Ooh, and an infestation. Okay, well, we kind of expected that, to be fair. Um... I might leave that there. No, that's never been a good idea. They can be a great way to defend yourselves. Ah, uh, what? Uh, I didn't think I would get both mechanoids and an infestation. Can I face them off against each other in some way? No. Damn. I mean, we could just set them on fire. That'd be fine. We could wall in this area and set them on fire. Could be done, it could be done, but I'm a little bit more scared of the mechanoids, so I think I'll take them out first. Now we have a normal uranium mace. We're going to give this to Butch because it has such good armor penetration. It has 32% armor penetration, which is about twice what his assault rifle had, and we just need somebody to hold down this area for when they do come in. Um, we're also going to work on the last couple of spike traps, and then an IED trap. And then I'm going to awaken them because now I have an infestation that I need to rush to deal with. The is more urgent than this poison ship. So I'm going to take down this forest, put down a crap ton of spike traps over here, set them on fire, aggro them with the spike traps, and then deal with the infestation, and then we'll come back to the psychic ship. Good job, Evil Paul. Bring that wood over here. I'm very much more scared of the infestation now. I needed time to get some basic defenses set up and prepare to set the forest on fire nearby, but I still think we're in major trouble. We are, we are in major doo-doo, so I'm going to have Butch create a spot right here where he can shoot them from. Just try to set this forest on fire. Maybe they'll expand out a little bit more and spread the fire back toward themselves, and then we'll have a long hallway of traps to see if that does anything. We'll see if we can in some way set everything on fire, because that's 
the only solution I can perceive to this whole just giant fuck up. All of our plants are dying to poison in the, in the psychic, this, not the psychic ship, the poison ship has now been here for eight and a half days spreading its seed of evil. All right, we've half dealt with each problem. This this infestation is at like critical mass right now. It cannot get much worse, but as long as we don't aggro them, we should be okay. I'm going to put one more doorway. Me, uh, no, actually, going to think that this is not <laughs> this is not perfect, but let's deal with this thing first. Okay, everyone is drafted. I am scared. I am scared. Alright, first we're going to attempt to deal with the psychic ship, so we need everybody to just lay down some fire on that thing. And then we're gonna lay down some grenades. Let's get John, Stamos, and Evil Jim closer to it. Great, okay, so they're out. Now let's throw grenades at that. Well, one of you throw a grenade at that one, and one of you run up, throw a grenade at the other- Ooh, don't get the laser fired at you. Okay, now then, you go there and melee attack the Lancer. That we might be able to kill the Lancer, even just with guns. Squidward's got enough armor on that he could be okay. Great, we're- continue with those EMP grenades. Now everybody else concentrate fire on the ship. The Lancer looks like it's gonna go down, so let's now focus on the- That. I forget what you I forget what you even call anything. Neville, you run away. That's what you're good at. Uh, Squidward, nobody hit Squidward. Squidward, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, and we could stop with the EMP grenades at the Lancer. Let's just throw them exclusively at this thing. Just keep Squidward safe. Keep Squidward safe. I'm Squidward. I'm Squidward. 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 No, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go, people. Don't let Squidward die. No, no, no. Squidward. squidward eared Okay, great. The ship is down. Squidward is up. Uh, let's get Francisco. I think we have one more mace. Who's also good. Squidward is good. Butch is also good. Let's get him one more mace. I thought we would need only one. It's stunned. Good. No, stop shooting him. Just help him out. Help him out, boys. Everybody get a hand in there. Great job. Okay, we're gonna take this thing out. And is that it? Oh, yeah, baby. We got a centipede and a lancer, so that's more components. Just gonna be farming these things for resources soon. And it looks like that's it. Okay, so this thing is just dying now. Now we're gonna have to get on to phase two though, because we still <laughs> we still have an infestation to deal with. So let's get incendiary launchers and Molotov cocktails on everybody, because that's gonna be our only counter. Jesus Christ, this thing has a lot of health though. These things have to be the strongest enemies in the game. Finally down. Okay, everybody get back, heal up, because next we're gonna have to deal with a massive infestation. The infestation has grown out of hand, so... I don't think any amount of anything could work at this point. We might be able to mortar it at some point. That could work. Uh, but we don't have mortars. <laughs> so, let's just continue to ignore it in as many ways as possible. Avoid aggroing it to us. And then hopefully get into space before they ever notice that we're here. Because I'm... Rather than defending against this thing, I just kind of want to ignore it. No enemy that lands- the, really, an enemy landing here would be the only terrible thing, because that could set it off, but we just want to avoid setting this thing off at all costs until- at least until the very last second once we get into space. Then I'll feel justified in- in fighting it. Good job, Butch. Just wall off this area and let's never come over here again. Ever. Ever. No, don't go that way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Please. For Christ's sake. Alright, we had a bulk goods trader pass overhead. I'm just selling him an ass load of stuff. Uh... Animals included, because he was taking Muffalo, so that we can get into space. We need all this friggin' plasteel and other stuff to get up there. And now all it is is components, steel, gold, and other shit. And now- Dimitri, did you finish that trade? Oh, we have to do it again. Okay, we will do it again, but we need to sell this stuff all off if we want to- If we want to get into space. Okay, we're gonna begin constructing the ship somewhere safe right in the middle of our compound because I don't want this thing to get destroyed. We're going to put down the ship structural beam right here 
and we're going to need a ship computer core, but we need an AI persona core and more advanced components and other BS like that. So it's mainly just, oh, another person. How horrible. Ari, you are <laughs> from League of Legends. And she is just going to be good for her. She has great construction, but we're just going to use her for her, you know. Let's bring her to a Crypto Sleep Casket, and then we will continue our work on the, uh, on the ship. I've never made this ship before. I'm pretty excited for the ship. I want to see what happens. Now, to get into space, we're going to need an ass ton of plasteel and other components and advanced components. So we're going to take apart the rest of pretty much everything that we find. Uh, and then we'll use that to get our sensor cluster and our ship computer core, for which we still need gold and an AI persona core. And then there's a few other sh shitty, shitty parts. Oh, we needed the uranium. Fuck. I didn't know that we needed uranium. <laughs> We're gonna need to find some more uranium at some point if we wanna. That we might be able to melt down the- I don't know, maybe we can melt down the weapons to get more uranium. Wait, there's a shitload of uranium right here, I forgot about that. We had a ship which we could just deconstruct the components for, and we got some other bullshit going on. We have a group of mad ha single mad? Just a single mad hair. That's fine, we- we'll deal with that. But, uh, we need to get out of the star system, so we are getting closer now with our ship sensor cluster and ship structural beam, and we almost have enough for a, uh, crypto sleep casket, a vacuum sealed one, or whatever it is. So we can get into space safely, and now all we need is gold and an AI Persona core, and a few other items. We finally have enough advanced components to get a friggin' what is it? A ship crypto sleep casket. So this is different from the and distinct from the normal crypto sleep casket. We will have Butch create this. Now we have a structural beam, a sensor cluster, and a crypto sleep casket. The last things that we're gonna need are the computer core, which is gonna Probably be the most difficult part. We can make the advanced components. We just still need an AI persona core though, and I'm gonna have to hunt for that. So I suppose that'll be one of our last big quests. And then we still have two last things of research for a starship reactor and a Johnson Chana yeah, Tanaka drive, which sounded incredibly complicated. And I don't think we'll have the materials for them. But we have an ass ton of plasteel. Anna is overdosed. Well, she's a bore. So let her at this point. Um, this is a headache, but I think we'll survive. They might just dig deeper into the mountain now, and we'll continue constructing a two or three wide wall or something. Disassemble our traps so that they aren't pissed at us, and then hopefully go into space. And huzzah, Butch is now finishing up his work on the crypto sleep casket. We should be getting into space very shortly. What else is he doing? Okay, he's just gonna build the wall against these people because we don't ever wanna- We don't ever wanna see them again. That's very, very scary. Please don't ever go there. And we'll need to- good, he'll finish off the wall. I think I'm gonna leave it there for today because this has gone well past the point where any rational human being could possibly fight this thing. It's- it's just not safe. At the, it's just not safe. It's not safe anymore. I have to make sure that nobody gets sealed in here with them. And we will just try to avoid talking to them ever again as we build our ship and then escape safely into space. I think that's- I think that's all we have time for today, though. But thank you for watching, let me know what you think, if there's any other tips as I build the ship. I, I've never built the last components, so if you know where to go to get them, that would be great. But otherwise, I'm probably just gonna start scanning in the ground for minerals and whatnot until we... escape. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, my name is Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!